Hello everybody, Jo here and I just wanted to go with a really laid back video this week. For all of you that might be doing your A-levels, your GCSEs, um, it might be um, BTEC, there's different exams at college as well and some of you might even have your mocks. Now with exams and with studying is that it's really hard and I want you to bear in mind that as much as your, your family and family friends want the best for you, in a really polite way, things have changed since they did exams. I'm 38 and, you know, exams are so much harder now than they were when I did them. And they were hard back then. So what I want to do is I just want us to kind of take it through a few things. Now, my first thing is that for some of you guys, you might have parents, carers, family friends that might be nagging. They might be saying to you, um, what have you done today? What revision um, have you started? Um, how are you getting on with your revision? Blah, 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 blah. And it might feel as if it's nothing but nagging or moaning or whinging. However, okay, let's just put on these kind of compassionate glasses. And as we're putting them on, just ask yourself, why are they doing it? Why are they doing it? And it's probably because they care and they want you to have good grades, good future. It might be because they wish that they'd tried harder at school or they wish that they had better opportunities from when they left school. So I get that it's really annoying to be on the receiving end. However, sometimes we just have to take a step back, breathe, find that sense of calm and not react to them and, and just kind of, uh-huh. So we know the revision and exams, we know that it's hard, okay? But what I want us to do is I want us to try now, yes, grades are important and I do exam workshops, so I travel to different schools to deliver a specific workshop. And this isn't necessarily what teachers would want to hear, but this is the truth, is that grades, yes, they're important, but they don't actually define you, okay? But what I do want us to do is I want us to make sure that we don't feel this feeling in the summer of disappointment when you're opening up and you're getting your exam results. I want you to be proud of something called the fact that you tried. And with you trying means that you know that even if those results are disappointing, and don't forget grades don't define you, but I don't want that to, to cause you to feel something called regret. Now if you're somebody that's not trying, that isn't revising, that doesn't know how to, I get it. But what I want us to remind ourselves is that it's about starting. It's about starting because then I know that you won't be thinking to yourself, oh, I wish I tried harder. I wish I started earlier. So in order to avoid feeling regret, I need us to make sure that we're trying. And that, that's a hard thing for some people. Now, some of your friends will be in the zone with revising. They will know exactly how to do it. They will know what works for them. They'll be creating these beautiful notes and mind maps and Q&A cards. Perfect. But actually, let's not compare ourselves to them. Let's think about ourselves and our journey. Now, the thing is though, we all revise differently, okay? And this is the big thing, that we all revise differently. And with that, not only do we revise differently, because we've got visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learners, which are very old school, but it's true. We've got learners that are best watching videos, um, creating mind maps, quite creative, they're your visual learners. You've then got your auditory learners, they're about podcasts, they may be about um, speaking into a dictaphone or into your, your, your mobile and then getting it to play back. And you've got your kinesthetic learners, they're the, the learners that will be best by creating things um, or going to revision sessions where they've got a teacher where they can learn hands on. But not only are we different learners, but also, we learn differently, or we have different revision styles for different subjects. So even though in history you might be great at kind of creating paper people, so a template of a person with all these key facts, actually in, I don't know, in English it might be better for you to do um, note annotations, or it might even be mind maps, for example. So just bearing in mind that you learn differently in different subjects and that's the way for you to revise too. Now this is possibly going to sound a little bit harsh but you know how you feel nervous and you might have that feeling of nausea or butterflies in your tummy or a headache, just the thought of your exams. 
I want you to have that because that shows that you care. However, what we need to do is we need to make sure that that, that nervousness is put to good use because if we're going to be feeling that, then that means that it's because we care, it, because that actually these mean something to us. Now, because you're feeling that, what I want you to do is I want you to start, okay? And if you're somebody that hasn't started revising, then I'm telling you now, it's not too late to start revising. It is not too late. I'm just gonna put that copy down. It is not too late to start revising. Because what often happens is that we might be sitting at home and it might be, oh, do you know what I'll do? I'll just watch this TV program or I'll um, just go on my phone or I'll just have a nap and then I'll start revising. The thing is though, if you're waiting until you're ready, you might never be ready. And often what happens is that whilst you're maybe enjoying watching that TV program, the truth might be that subconsciously it's playing on your mind, that academic guilt that, oh God, I've got to do that. So what you're best doing is you're best swapping it around, starting by doing some revision and earning that reward, earning that nap, earning that TV program, earning that time on your phone. The thing is though with phones is that they're they're great but they're just a bit of a time sponge. Um, five minutes can easily go into 20 minutes and boom. So it's about, if you're somebody that hasn't revised then it's about starting to revise now because if you can start now then that will help you. And with that I want you to just remind yourself that we need to have a certain element of stress, okay? But we need to make sure that it's healthy, it's helpful and most importantly, it's productive. Now, that stress is good, and I want us to feel that because I want us to remind ourselves that in a few months, in a few weeks, that stress is gonna be gone, okay? Once we've got these exams over and done with. However, if you are pushing yourself too much, if you are revising too much, because that's what happens sometimes, is that we're all or nothing, is that sometimes what happens is that that stress builds and it becomes unhealthy, unhelpful, and unproductive. And if you are up this end where you're just overwhelmed, burnt out, then there's something that you need to do which is really important, and that's called rest. Now, rest is like hitting the reset button. So for those people that need to feel motivated, I need them to get going. And for those people that are working too hard, I need you to rest. I need you to realize that the brain, if you're gonna keep going and keep going and keep going, this isn't going to be able to keep up and we might be teary, we might be snappy, we might be irritable, we might be isolating ourselves. So the importance of just taking time out for you is really, really important. There you have it. I'm going to keep this video really short and sweet, but just one thing, just remind yourself that when you are finding your groove with revision, okay, if that's early starts or late nights, because some people are early birds, some people are light, late night hours, Whatever it is, is just remind yourself that the one person that's gonna benefit from your hard work is you. Your future self will be grateful for this. And again, just look at it as short term. One of my favorite things is to remind yourself of how good it's gonna feel when you've walked out of that last exam for that particular subject. Or imagine how good it's gonna feel when you go to bed tonight knowing that you've had a really good revision session. So yeah, just look after yourself. Think of your future self and, and just don't regret not trying. Don't forget, I've still got videos over on TikTok and here on YouTube with shorts as well about kind of just on the spot revision styles and techniques and tips as well. You, you are not on your own. I am here to help you. And yeah, stay awesome, everybody. Bye.